Hello, Liam here. I don't know why I started it like that, but um, yeah, fun pod today. Uh, ben has a hot take on hair colour. Um, we ask if you've ever pressed the wrong button. We had some fun calls for that. And we call BS on Bell's wild eco-warrior claim, which I still, I just, I can't fathom it. I can't have it. Live across Australia, this is Ben, Liam and Bell's Late Drive! On Nova. Good evening, Australia. I uh, just got a celebrity like there. You know, you, yeah. on your on your gram, on my gram, just in the news. A follow I feel or the a need like? To, no, not a follow, just a like. But like from a post from like a few months ago. But look, I look, it's a bit cringy. But on TikTok, I do this thing where I put a bald cap on and chase my wife around, pretending to be Lord Voldemort, <laughs> stick tape in my nose. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's weird when you say horrendous. it. Horrendous. Um, and uh, I mean, even even yesterday, I was on a jog, and this guy came past me and went. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, that's me. Yeah, yeah. Um, How did he recognise you with your normal face? I don't know. Yeah, so used to having the nose up. But big celebrity like guys of one of my Harry Potter videos with my wife. Yeah. Michael Jackson's daughter. Harris Jackson. <laughs> wow. Sliding what? into the DMs. Well, uh, no. No, just, just liking. Just at this stage, but with, yeah, that's how our friendship starts. What? Paris Jackson. Paris like Jackson, video. sister of Blanket, um, who was dangled out a window famously. Yeah, I liked my video. There you go. Wow. Is Paris younger than Blanket? Uh, no, he, older. Yeah. Older. Yeah, I think the El Des, maybe, or she middle. There's, there's, um, because there's Prince, Paris, mm-hmm. and Blanket. Jeez, imagine what if the- you slid into Paris's DMs Say, hey. to get Paris on the show. Oh, That'd I'll, be a big oh, get. I'll get your blanket of Paris by the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, she's middle. All right. I watch promise. this space on late drive. I want to know how many hair colours are there? Natural ones? Uh, like like green we're, or we're, we're taking out taking dye. Taking out dye. Yeah. Right. How many natural hair colours uh, are there? I would say there's four that come to mind. You've got like black. Yep. You've got like blonde, mm-hmm. brunette, yep. ginge. Bang. That's your four. One, two, three, no, four. It's five. You don't count strawberry blonde. Well, no, there's Strawberry. mousy brown. Oh, okay. This is where <laughs> this is where you lose me. Okay, You're kidding me. There's four hair colours. No. Now Liam has just said them, and no. I was getting into a heated discussion with my wife Sam about this because we were watching the footy and there was a player and she was like, "Who's that one?" And I said, "Which one?" And she said, "The the strawberry blonde." And I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> I don't know. I don't know no, what strawberry seven. blonde is. There's seven. There's ginger. There's mm. orange hair. Yeah. And there's blonde. She's like, no, no, it's in between those. And I was like, it yeah, can't no, be. It's, it's what it's. It's sad, but it's. I think it's what people who are ginger say if they don't want to be ginger. No, no, no. Like, is oh, it? No, is that no, they no, go, no, 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 I'm no, strawberry no. blonde, and you go, no, no, well, no, no you're no. not. <laughs> like, you know, just admit what you are. Like, no, okay, like. strawberry blonde. It's like a. It's like what you'd say, like a peach kind of shade is, but it's not Mm-mm. red because no, you've got so, red hair. Look, it's, it's, if we get into brown, the blonde, mousy brown, no, and then and then that's the other one, <laughs> mousy brown. So Ben, you're mousy brown. I'm brown. No, I've got brown not. hair. No, you're not. I've got brown hair. Liam's got between brown and black, and you've got mousy brown. What's mousy brown? It's like a light brown. He's got mousy as poking out through his... It's brown. It's br- yeah, then it's, it's, br- it's just brown. brunette. Yeah, but as soon as we start getting the Dulux colours out, then we could, you know, we could <laughs> yeah. go all day. Like, do you remember to throw another one in the mix? Blue black. Oh, What's that's that? very black. What's that? That's like that's like dark, dark <laughs> like black. Jet black? Yeah, like jet black. But that's like if you were colouring your hair, then I would yeah, say. Yeah, but that's also Mm-mm. but that's just black hair. You've got black hair. Yes. Yeah, you've got black hair. Yeah, but but so then I'm, you got like jet black, like, like blue black. I'm going on record now and saying there's four hair colours. There's brown, black, blonde, and ginger. There's no mousy brown, there's no <laughs> strawberry blonde, and there's no blue black. There's just there's pick four Pick a side, guys. Pick a side, yeah. Stop trying to be so different all the time. <laughs> yeah, pick a side. I'm sort Absolutely. of like a like mousy brown brunette, <laughs> like blonde that has a bit of fun with a tinge of strawberry blonde <laughs> through the middle. What's awkward that shouldn't be? I don't know. I always feel awkward, um, Ben and Bell, when I, when I go to my barber shop. There's like, there's like this barber shop, and there's like these three guys that work there. Mm. And I started going to one of the guys, and I really liked his cuts. Mm. And then one day he wasn't there, so I went to another guy, mm-hmm. and I also got along really well with him. Mm-hmm. But now, if I'm going to the other guy, I think that the other guy yep. thinks he's not good at being a barber. Absolutely. And then I like, I literally. 
go to one each month I go to <laughs> uh, like because I I don't want one to like get jealous of the other yeah. barber you got two I, girlfriends I so I go to the same barber as yeah, well like, yeah. different to you, you know but I, mean? I go to the same barber every time and I get the same guy he was recently booked out so I went to somebody else and when I got there my regular barber looked at me as if he looked a little bit like so what, what was wrong with the last one you know the look yeah. in his eyes was like am I not good enough yeah and I didn't say anything to him but I tried with my eyes I tried to tell him you were booked out but it, it's it's fully like your own sort of in your own head like as if they're going like oh you bitch you like my god like you, yeah. they, they don't care they're yeah. cutting 10 dudes their hair yeah. a day whatever they're getting paid they're just doing mm. their job question for you when you go to get your hair cut yeah do they wash your hair yeah no. they do it mine they wash your hair yeah man i've never been to a barber in my life that washes oh, your hair change your life i mean if you're paying well, 50 see, bucks you'd want a bit of a scrubbing i pay 80 bucks <laughs> oh, dude you're getting ripped off you're paying 80 bucks? What do they do? They slap you in the face when you finish? <laughs> I, you been, I get... I, I get think a, you've been robbed. I get a drink and a beer drum. So Dude, my they, beer, should be, they should be running their fingers through your hair. It's quite nice. See, no, but... You, you get to know a man when yeah, he rubs, right. his, rubs his fingers that. through your scalp. I find that awkward. Because I went the other week and had my hair washed, and I didn't know if I should have my eyes open or closed. And I thought, oh, if my definitely eyes closed. Are closed. Yeah. No, but I thought if they close, then it looks like I'm enjoying it too yeah, much. Yeah, but if you if you <laughs> if you're locking in and looking at them, it's like, yeah. it's like if you're like kissing someone and keeping your eyes open the whole time. Well, yeah. she was like she was like massaging my head, but I found that really awkward. Mm. Uh, Vicky joins us now in Brisbane. What's awkward that shouldn't be? Oh, I find bringing food on a plane awkward. Yes. Yep. Like when you bring your own food. Yes, your yes. own food. Yeah, that's so true. Like, I feel like it's kind of okay if the cart comes and you get a cheese toasty or whatever. But if you're, I feel so, especially if it's a bit of a stinky food. Like mm. a lot of the times you get well, a hungry, do hungry jacks at a at an airport, but mm. you feel guilty eating that on a. Um, as an example, maybe uh, another one of what's awkward that shouldn't be if mm. you're at the shopping centre and you're behind somebody and then you change lines. I don't want to offend that person because they think oh, I think they stink. But I, that's not what I think. I just saw a quicker line. I took, yeah, a, punt, I took, I took a punt on that line. Well, what's wrong with me? Yeah. Well, so like, they, yeah, think, yeah. They, think I, they think I think they smell. Yeah, yeah. That's not what I do, think. Just another awkward thing. Like if you bump into someone at the shops, like you're just at Coles or something. Yeah. And you say, oh, how you going? How to kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I haven't seen you guys for a while. Anyway, yeah. see ya. And then you, you, you don't see them for a bit and then yeah. you catch them in the confectionery <laughs> aisle and you go, <laughs> and you're like, you don't want to stop and talk again, yeah. but you keep doing that sort of face at each Every other. Every single aisle you're crossing you're over. Like, oh. <laughs> Just getting the older tinned beans here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia in Sydney, what's awkward that shouldn't be? Um, You know, when you're driving like on a freeway and there's like, Two or more lanes, and you're just like awkwardly matching speed with the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes and you just, just lock in. <laughs> yeah, and it just feels like weirdly intimate. Like, mm. and you're both doing the right thing. You're both going sixty. That's the limit. But you just, yeah, it feels like someone should at least just go in front, just like a little bit. Yeah, on a te- technicality, if you're going the speed limit, if you're both going the speed limit, you should be in the left lane. The right lane's for everything. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. Olivia, then, you're I actually mean, breaking the law. So. <laughs> if you're in the but right lane. if you lane. get pulled yeah. over and you go, well, I locked eyes with them, so I had to speed <laughs> yeah. up, sir. We are on a bit of a roll at the moment, but I've thought of another one. Yeah, Bill. Uh, I was going for a walk the other day, and I was on the walking trail, mm. and I was faster than the person in front of me, mm. so I had to do the like yeah, walk. Yeah, Walk around them, but there is that phase where you match their speed for a second. Mm. And I said, sorry, I kept walking around them. But mm. I don't think they care, but I just felt so awkward. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's best to just like, I think I just like lose myself in the music, just pretend that you can't hear anything in the headphones. And I run burn. 100% past them. Like yeah. I go so fast That's past them. That's actually a good idea to look mm. like you're going for a run instead of like, yeah. I was just like, oh, you're well, doing scouts pace. Walking. You just do a jog and then a walk and then a jog and a walk. Uh, Isabel in Melbourne, good evening. What's awkward that shouldn't be? Calling in sick to work when you're actually sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Uh, That's true. And Ben and I wouldn't know because we've gone over a decade without having a sick day. Um, claim to fame radio. Belle would know. Yeah, so Belle. Very that, relatable for her. Is that an awkward thing to do? Well, I've never called in. I've been here when I've started getting a migraine and then I've had to say, sorry, guys, I'm getting a migraine, which actually, yes, is sometimes a bit awkward because you go, oh, are you? You're getting a migraine. <laughs> yes, Just got like a headache, really. Peter okay. in Melbourne joins us. Good evening, Peter. What's awkward that shouldn't be? Yeah, good evening, guys. Loving the new late drive show. Oh, Peter. Yes, Peter. Appreciate you. Uh, so it's got to be, um, there's nothing more awkward when, when you're trying to, you know, you're going to the servo or whatever, mm-hmm. you're going to a shop and the person in front of you's card declines. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're just yeah. sitting there like, oh, I just want to get my chips. Yeah, and, you got to yeah. almost pretend like you didn't see it get declined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. And especially you, you could offer to pay, but for petrol, I mean, that's that's pretty exy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hey, what goes around comes around. No, that's not the right saying for that. What goes um, around pay comes it forward, around. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Hey? yeah, that's it. Pay Good it forward. Karma. Yeah. Bianc, uh, what about you? What's awkward that shouldn't be? <laughs> When you arrive at a comedy show and your ticket seating happens to be in the middle of the theatre and everyone mm. has to get up to like, get to your seat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, no, sorry, but, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I was at the movies oh, the other night and um, so this like lady was sitting next to me and someone moved in front of us just as the movie was starting and she was like, oh, really? Like as if she was like angry at this person for like oh. being too late to them. I was like, shut up. Uh, Michelle in Melbourne, awkward that shouldn't be. Oh, hi, how are you going? Good. Um, I'm, I think it's really awkward when you go to a public toilet and somebody's already using it. Um, and they're so ridiculously quiet in the cubicle next to you that you're too embarrassed to wee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got to put toilet paper down first so you do a little mouse wee so no one can hear. Yeah. yeah. You're being too quiet in there. I yeah. know you're there. Or you try and like, try and cough to mask the plonk. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> you end up with a oh, boom. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kate, in Sydney, awkward there shouldn't be. Oh, hi. Good evening, guys. I love your show. Oh, thank, thank you, Kate. Kate. You're getting a lot of compliments. Nice. Nice. Why are we the coolest nice. show in town? Okay, what is awkward? When you go to the stretch lab and you're being stretched by the flexologist, because that's what they're called. So hang on, so, Kate. So you're going to have to Kate, back up there. You can continue your story in just a second. No, I, I think none I of us, none up. of us, no, no, not saying no, you've yeah, made it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of us have ever been to the stretch lab. You said lab. it like it was like going <laughs> to the <laughs> dentist. <laughs> or, you know, yeah. You know, when you go to the flex lab I, I and then. I haven't, I haven't even told you the bit yet. No, I know, no, no, no. I know, but it was just what you said was just what's, crazy. What's like, the flex lab? What is that? Stretch, 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 stretch lab, lab See, to a flexologist. Right, so you go somewhere and they, and, they, and they stretch you out. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yes. Okay. I've never heard of that. It's, yeah, right. It's like a physio. And you do it, you yeah. do it with resistance. Oh. So they get you into different, they get you into different positions to get your muscles engaged, and oh. then you resist against them. That would be really now, good if I wanted to work on my golf swing. I think for my core. That's a, okay. I might look into oh, that. Look, it's, yeah. it's great on anything. However, yeah. It is quite up close and personal. Course, so when they're, um, when they're stretching your hip flexors and they ask you, are we there yet? <laughs> Hang on. Stretching your hip flexor would be lifting your leg out, yes? Yes. Whoa. And so they're taking you out to your extreme. With yeah. your but legs out. they ask you, with your legs out, <laughs> yep. and they're in between your legs. Right. And then they ask you. <laughs> Right. And they ask you, uh, are we there yet? Yeah. I think I'm in the wrong industry. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> I didn't that even know does, that was a job. No, but, Kate, that does sound like a start of it. I'm movie. actually going to book my appointment right now. <laughs> yeah. Flexologist. What's good? Stretch lab? Stretch lab. Stretch lab. Is there lab. such thing as Bikram stretch lab? I think I'd like to get a sweat on. <laughs> That's cool. 8.30 p.m. booking booked. Yeah, awesome. Sweet. Looking forward to that. It's Hallelujah, it's 6.10. It's five very simple questions. You get them all right, you get to choose the next song we play. If you get one wrong, well, then you're a fool because they're very easy questions. Dill in Perth, how are things in WA? Yeah, pretty good, mate. Pretty hot here. Oh, I love that. Hey, uh, Mount Gambier tourism is being impacted by too many people pooping in the iconic Blue Lake. It'll be the Brown Lake before they know it. Um, what Aussie state is Mount Gambier in? Uh, <laughs> have, a, have a stab. It's not in yours. It's not in WA. So uh, Northern Territory. Ooh, oh, no. No, it's not. Sorry, deal. It seems you are the fuel. Oh, uh, Veronica, are you going to make a fuel of yourself too? Or can you tell us where Mount Gambier is? <laughs> oh, gosh, I hope not. Um, is it in oh, uh, South Australia? Oh, nice. Oh, yep. thank God. You've got it. Well done. <laughs> hey, uh, awesome. squatters have taken over one of Gordon Ramsay's London restaurants on Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, Gordon Ramsay yelled at a stupid contestant by putting two pieces of bread on the sides of their head <laughs> and calling them a what? Is it an idiot sandwich? What are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? 
<laughs> One of the great TV moments. Uh, on this day in t- 1924, the first ever radio transmission over the wireless was made. There you go. Uh, which radio show have you called into, Veronica? Nova. Yes. Name of the show? Ben, Liam, Bell. Oh, oh, really? You were out on your feet. Oh, it was a stumble. <laughs> you were sort of going off the road a little bit, but you managed to veer back on. Well done. No yeah. fool. Thank you. You're not a fool. No, no, you're cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aussie star Rhea Ripley has vacated the WWE Women's World Championship. Uh, what are we talking about there? Uh, wrestling? She's done it. Last question here, Veronica. We're all in your corner. Happy 51st birthday to the great Akon. Can you please finish these lyrics? Maybe go to my place and just kick it like Tybo. And possibly bring you over. Look back and... Smack that. <laughs> oh, do I have to sing it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Smack that all on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really doesn't need to hear me sing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more. Uh, Veronica, you're now in the draw for Nova's first class N50K. You also get to choose the next song we play right now. So, do you want to hear Missy Elliott? Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. It's your primitive as well. Or, are you a fan of Shrek? I'm in love. I'm a believer. I get an either. What do you want to hear? Shrek. Yeah, Shrek on yeah. Tuesday, right? you want to hear the Shrek anthem? Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> All right, Veronica, <laughs> you have a great evening. Thanks, you too, guys. Good nice. on you, Veronica. Put on your corky vest. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're on Nova. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. Meant for someone else, but not for me. Love was out to get me. It's the Shrek song, otherwise known as I'm a Believer from Smash Mouth yeah. on Late Drive. Welcome to our swamp, Australia. Feels good. Feels real good. Come, come, turn a little faster. Come, come. He died last year, had a guy from Smash Mouth. Yes. Got oh, really? Chin strap, yeah. yeah. Bit sad. Well, this is Counting Crows, though, so. You're goddamn right. From the Shrek soundtrack, though. Yep. If we're going to do the power ranker of Shrek movies, yeah. not including Puss in Boots. Yep. Oh, so what about got, like Shrek the Halls? Well, what about all the yeah, spin-offs? So you've got, uh, you've got Shrek 1, 2, 3, Shrek Forever After, which is 4, and you've got Shrek the Halls. I thought Shrek the Halls was a spin-off. Okay, all right. Mm, so there's five in total. Oh, wow. What's the one uh, where he goes, do the roar? <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> You know, the kid's Is like... three? Yeah, the kid's like, did it roar. I think it might be and then three. The, the dad makes Shrek do the roar, and he roars at him, and he goes, I love you, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that? I I think this is the boring answer, but if I was doing the power ranker of Shrek movies, I would go one, two, yeah. three, yeah. Shrek forever after, and then I'd go Shrek the Halls. I don't think I've seen no, hang on. Shrek 3. What but... about... What about uh... When you go to Movie World and they have the Shrek 4D feature where he sneezes and it comes on you. That's great, but that's like oh, a... Sorry. <laughs> I mean, sorry. The water comes on you. <laughs> the, that's a... Yeah. That, that ride wouldn't get What it. does he do? He, the water comes out and splashes on you. <laughs> it's very realistic. <laughs> oh, donkey. Hey, uh... Three months. That's how long it takes for a possum to decompose. What the hell? Uh, I know this because there is a possum that unfortunately passed away three months ago on my my route that I walk every day, mm-hmm. my dog. And I saw it three months ago and I was like, oh, geez, that's so sad. It looked very fresh. Like mm. It was like, oh, actually made me really sad. Like mm. it was just looked, you know, very. And then, um, you know, I just sort of see it there, same spot. And then got to the point where it was like, oh, it started to smell a little bit mm-hmm. before. Uh, and then, you know, the, the, hot, the hot weather, the rain. Mm-hmm. And then it just sort of turned into a black clump. Yep. And now it's it's um it's mere dust. Yep. 
Yeah, kind of almost poetic and beautiful. Yeah, it's sort of like ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah, sort of. There is nothing. Well, it's just beautiful like a natural cycle. Where it's like no, you return not. to the earth. Yeah, where there's death, there is life. Why yeah. did you just walk past it every day? <laughs> you give it CPR. No, you it bury it. It might still be alive. <laughs> bury it. You bury it. Are you it. psychopathic? You do not leave it. You don't bury to... a gazelle in the in the Sahara. I bury every animal that I go past. No, you don't. I do. That's a lie. I do. What, so you pull, so on a road trip, you're pulling over and just burying ruse out in the outback? <laughs> well, no, no. Um, oh, it took me bloody no, 40 hours to drive out. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. There's another one. Get the shovel out. <laughs> you would be the worst on road trips. No, oh. Well, I, you know what? I'm, I want to do that, but no, I only do it when I'm walking. But I, I bury, I bury. You bring I a bury shovel everywhere you, you go. have, like, yeah. No, you dig a hole with your hands. You like scrape back a hole, like a dog digging you a hole, do and then you put it in, and then you close it over. It's out of respect. You don't just leave it there to cook in the sun. Yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> well, like nature intended. No. Okay, nature didn't intend for that possum to die on power lines that we put up there, <laughs> or for someone to come past in their car and <laughs> hit it. Very <laughs> sounding crazy. I'm the crazy one. It's out of no, respect. No one... You bury it yeah, so I'm it sure can it's... start to well, decompose you, 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 you just kneel down, put a little, couple of little five cent pieces on it I've for put, the ferryman. I, there I you go, put possum. I've flowers before. No, when you was have, when you're was lying. Have. You're lying, girl. When I, last... I get it. You love animals. When was the last time you buried an animal? Last week, I buried a bird. Bullshit. Don't laugh at what, me. What, so like a bird hit a window and you're like, oh, just going to have to no, bury this one? No, I was walking one. to the gym on my usual route. Mm. and With your bare someone's... hands, you picked it up. Yes. I, I probably shouldn't do that, but I do do that. Sometimes. I, and I know this is a cliche on radio, but I want to put you on a lie detector test and you tell us the truth. Do you actually Why bury you animals? Why so weird Because no I one in their vegetarian... right mind finds a dead thing on the side of the road. Digs a hole with their hands. Bare, like, as you said, like a dog, your words, like a dog, and then uses their bare hands to pick up like like a dead like rat or like <laughs> possum you know, or some sort of marsupial, puts it in and like has little flowers and has a little like, you yeah. know, says a few words. No one you does know, that. Once my mum bought a roast chicken. Which I hate, and she bought a roast chicken mm. in the supermarket. Yum! And I was so disgusted with her that I went out into the yard and I buried that, so that it would be like not put in a bin or anything. And I, I buried that in the yard. Why wouldn't you just put it in your organic bin? It's a green bin. Because that is so disrespectful, and that is such. A <laughs> I think it's pretty disrespectful to eat its ass with some vegetables been through, on you're the gonna side. You're going to be put in a bin. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, why don't we, look? <laughs> hey, if honestly, if you are seriously claiming that you do this. You are the only person in the country who yep. does that. Other animal activists would be no, doing it nope. out of... 100%. We will not get any calls for this. 13, 24, 10. Anyone else in Australia bury roadkill? Or is it just our friend here, Belle? I will film myself doing it in the I next few days. I think you might get arrested if you do that. <laughs> Why? Beck in Melbourne has given us a buzz. Beck, surely you're not doing this. I sure do. <gasps> do you, though? Beck. Do you really, though? I really do. It's not just me. It's my youngest daughter as well. Especially when we're on the beach and we see like a dead, oh, there's plenty, there's plenty of starfish and there's been a bird, a big magpie actually once before. And yeah, we have to bury it. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Like, it sounds like you've got a starfish on life support in the back there at the moment. <laughs> you know what's crazy, Beck? Like when you said that, I was like, well, how do you know the starfish is dead? Maybe you've buried it alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, they don't have a lot of, it's not like, <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. sunbaking. You'd want to be checking for life signs <laughs> on a starfish. Starfish are not sunbaking. They do stay in the water. Beck, we need to be friends. That's amazing. Uh, Gav in Melbourne. Good evening. What's going on? How are you, legends? Good, yeah, thanks. Um, don't exactly do what Belle does, but mm. quick sto- or long story short, mm. driving along with my daughter, who was mm. eight at the time, ended up hitting birds, you know, those brown ones. Hitting a what? Like bird? A brown bird. brown bird. Yeah. yeah. An Indian yeah. miner? Yeah, I don't know. Could be a senior. I don't know. We've got an eco warrior here, Gab. She's, she's buried her fair share Sorry, of birds. You yeah. You'd at least want to identify the species so you know what to put on the grave. Did you hear he said could be a senior. But, but, but I hit it. I, 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 I hit it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't mean it. It yeah, got yeah. in my way. All right, what could it yeah. damage my car? Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, um, it happens, Bill. So my daughter said, we've got to do something. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what do you want to do? She goes, took it to the vet. All right. <laughs> Two hundred and twenty dollars later. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm like, you've got to be kidding, mm, all right? Yeah. Don't know what happened to the bird. I'm out out, out of pocket two hundred and twenty bucks. Mm. Driving my daughter home, she goes, What do you reckon you're gonna do with it? I go, you know what? See that little sign over there that says KFC? That's where it's gonna end up. Yeah, true. They're taking you two hundred and twenty bucks be like, Thanks for that, mate. <laughs>
That is, you're both <laughs> disgusting. Uh, let's go to Aaron now in Sydney. Good evening, Aaron. What's going on? Hey guys, how are you? Good, thank yeah, you, mate. Aaron. That's good. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a story. Um, so probably about 1975, my pop was uh, was. Uh, horse trainer and he was coming back from the races and he Hmm. he he hit a bird um and he thought oh i'll stop and and um pick the bird up and bring it home to bury it Mm -hmm. um he put his hands into he had it in a pouch he put it in his hands in and it bit him um and still to this day the bird is still alive uh its name's coco it's a cockatiel um and it is still alive and will probably outlive us all wow 75 i hear that 1975, he hit the bird, and uh, it is still alive uh, so, to this day. So we're talking so, like, that's like a 50-year-old bird. It's a 50-year-old bird, and cockatoos, those birds can live, uh, you know, for, for 50, 60 years. Really? So, um, it will probably outlive us all. So, that's yeah, we, beautiful. We Aaron. Coco in a... Yeah, so Aaron, is he, um, is, is Coco like, you know, totally well, or did you have to like nurse it back to Absolutely. life? Absolutely. So I've so I've got a farm so story that I don't know if I can share, but I feel like I need to share it. So on all of so, your farm stories, Ben, all of your farm stories are horrific. So I, thanks for your call, Aaron. Aaron, I yeah, know, thank you, Aaron. I know beautiful. that what you're saying is very true because I have a very similar story. So growing up on the farm, uh, I was on a dairy farm, and the cockatoos used to sit on. There was these power lines that went over um, the the owner of the farm's father. He still lived on the farm in like a little cottage. Yeah. And there was power lines going over his car and the birds kept crapping on his car. And so he went out one day with a shotgun. Ben. And he tells her he was trying to scare them away with the shotgun, but a stray pellet hit one. Oh, oh did, did it. it. And it came off the power lines, fell to the floor. He then felt bad, went over, took care of it, healed it until the wing was healed. It never left his house and it's still alive to this day. And that was, again, that was probably like 30, 40 years ago. So and, they do live to be very and old. And that cockatoo went on to become a, a successful recording artist known as 50 Cent. <laughs> um, so, and that is a little story there. A little nice little story about, so, you know, <laughs> facing adversity, being shot yeah. and coming back stronger. Yep. yep. Okay. And, Bill, if you buried that cockatoo mm. after he shot it and it was still alive, it would have been buried alive. So don't bury animals. Well, you don't bury them unless they're... Actually, oh, God, I'm not. Did you press the wrong button? How's this? The wrong couple have been divorced after a solicitor clicked the wrong button. And the judge has said that it can't be overturned because literally the computer says no. As the husband slips the lawyer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey. Pineapple. Chris 50. <laughs> well, I guess they'd have to get remarried, which is nice. It's fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kayla joins us now in Melbourne. Good evening, Kayla. Did you press the wrong button accidentally? I sure did, and it cost me my car. Oh, what Whoa. happened? <laughs> so we decided to go jet skiing, and my husband positioned, um, like, the trailer and the jet ski just mm-hmm. enough in the water for him to then get on the jet ski. Yep. So I all I had to do was reverse it just a little bit mm-hmm. and then put it back in drive mm-hmm. and then park the car. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I've been called a left foot all my life, <laughs> and I didn't take the car out of reverse. And I left it, put my foot down, and my whole car's gone into the beach. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Was, it, was it a write-off? It was a write-off. Oh, my <gasps> God. There was, like, smoke coming out of the back and all the electronics, and he couldn't, like, he had to hook the jet ski up and then come and save me because I'm so scared of the ocean. <laughs> oh, so my it gosh. totally cost my life and the car. Oh, wow. Kayla, that sucks. I mean, <laughs> I know. Un- unfortunately, I don't know if it's a button, so I don't know if it can be counted. I mean, it <laughs> okay. seems it's more of a pedal lever type situation. So on the official scoreboard, I don't think it actually... Counts. Yeah, it doesn't count, Kayla. Yes, but, it does. But we will still put you in the draw for Nova's first class and 50K. Thanks for getting involved. Charlotte in the Gold Coast, good evening. Did you accidentally press the wrong button? Yeah, so on my first day working on the counter at a bank, I accidentally pressed an extra zero. So instead of <sighs> depositing $1,000, I put $10,000 into the customer's account. You're Whoa. kidding. And so did they, did they tell you about no. it? Or they try and just be mm. sneaky or...? No, we got stuck back so late. It was me and another trainee on the counter. I don't know whose idea that was. Mm. We're pulling our hair out, couldn't find it. It wasn't actually until the next day, but fortunately the customer hadn't touched it Aww. and we were able to get it back. Oh, Charlotte, did you see that um, news story recently? You wouldn't, you wouldn't feel as bad, but that, the crypto 
guy yeah. in yeah. Australia, yeah. Mm. and they gave him like didn't they give him like ten million or something insane? Like it was, they a, gave, it was a big number. It was like unfathomable amount. Yeah. Of money. I don't think they ever caught him either. No, yeah, well, see, they, unlike, they unlike got him Charlotte. in the end. Did they? Yeah, I, I saw him on the news. Wasn't the, other the night. story? Yeah, he fled. So he got all this money deposited into yeah. his account. He fled overseas. Yeah, they got him. And the last I heard, they were trying to find him, but they they got him. They did one of those like um. I saw it on the news, you know, that there's like court things where they're like walking, like they're trying to briskly walk yeah. out of court and they just got a camera in their face. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Neve joins us in Melbourne. What happened? Hey guys. Um, I was driving my dog to the dog park and he had his head stuck out the window. Oh no. Um, and I went to put my own window down and it wasn't going down. And then I heard a bit of a yell and I looked over and I <sighs> stuck his head in, his, <laughs> in the window. Dog was okay? Oh, yeah, he's Yeah, great, 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 great. Oh, gosh. Great. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's so bad. That's I, awful. I'm, a, I, I'm like, my dog loves putting his head out the window as well, but I make sure I'm, like, grabbing him with one hand. As mm. I'm, I'm, I'm too, too scared of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, Nate. That's bad, man. That's real bad. That's horrendous. Yeah. I appreciate you, like, being gutsy enough to come on the radio and share the story. Yeah, yeah we'll just forward that one onto the RSPC. <laughs> um, Alicia in Brizzy, you pressed the wrong button. I did. I was returning a lost and found property bag to an owner last week, and as I picked it up, it started vibrating. Mm. So I had a look on the receipt, and sure enough, inside was a sexy time toy. Mm -hmm. Um, So I was not going to reach into the bag and turn it off, so I actually handed it back to the owner as it was still vibrating. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Called the bomb squad. So none of us said anything, and he (laughs) walked off with the bag. So very happy to get that out of there. All right, Alicia. (laughs) Thanks for sharing. (laughs) Mitch joins us in Melbourne. Good evening, Mitch. Did you accidentally push the wrong button? Yeah, mate. I'm a, so I'm a plant operator and I was uh, operating a bobcat and um, I was talking to my foreman and um, in the bobcats they've got a thing called the bucket actually opens and closes. Mm-hmm. You can control it on your thumb. Yep. So, and then there's also a button, which doesn't make sense. Don't get me. Don't ask me why it has this. Mm. It's dangerous as. But anyway, <laughs> I pressed the button by accident and it flipped him up, and he smashed his face on the bucket. Um, and, yeah, he pretty much said, if I get a black eye, you're getting a black eye too, mate. <laughs> oh, Mitch. Whoa. Not good. Yeah. 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 So this is, this, this is going back years ago, but, yeah, it wasn't my proudest moment. But, yeah, it was uh, What do you mean, pretty, just flipped him? Pretty, yeah, just flipped it, Yeah, it, it's hard to explain, but the, the bucket opens up so you can, like, pick up, like, concrete yeah. and... and Stuff like that, but yeah, yeah poor bloke. Oh, Which Mitch. also, like you said, yeah, the bucket is controlled by just a button with your thumb. That also feels like way too easy to stuff up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you press it on purpose, but I guess you could bump it. Totally. Yeah. Sue in Sydney, what happened? Well, I was ringing up Nova for a competition. This mm-hmm. was a little while ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And instead of um, ringing Nova in my contacts, I rang my friend Navar. <laughs> and I was so excited because I thought I'd got through oh my God. crying so many times. <laughs> yeah. You're like crying on the phone. She's like, what's happened? What's happened? <laughs> hey, Sue, so, yeah, I can... I got through. I so, got through, but I didn't get through to the right phone. I can hear a noise in the background. Is that your door open? What is that? Sorry. Sorry, that was... No, 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 you're okay. What was it? Was it the sound of the door being open? It was. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was it someone was. tooting you repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I Get out of the stopped. way! You just pulled over in the, in the middle of a, a highway to call us. Um, Sue, you're in the draw for Nova's first class in 50K. Thanks for getting involved. Lily in Brisbane, the wrong button. What happened? Uh, yes, yeah, so I was ordering on Uber Eats and I put in to get some chopsticks as the, um, a utensil. And I accidentally ordered a hundred chopsticks instead of one. <laughs> and gotta... the poor Chinese place called me up frantically, like, "We don't have a hundred chopsticks. Yeah. How many do you actually need?" You should have doubled down and say, "I said a hundred <laughs> chopsticks." But also, bring them here immediately <laughs> on a bicycle. <laughs> Yes, you heard right. I wanted one packet of prawn crackers and 100 <laughs> chopsticks. I'm having a Chinese party. You're also probably thinking, how's she going to split this one bowl of rice between 100 people? Lily, thank you very much. Lisa in Brisbane, the wrong button. What happened? Um, I was being very 
naughty and I was bitching about a certain family member mm. and instead of sending it to the person I needed oh, to classic. send it to, I actually sent it to the family group oh, chat and no. World War Three. Oh. So did you did you were you on it quick enough to just like remove, remove it? it or No, no. no. Oh no, no, no. no. There wouldn't there. have been World War Three if I had a Done that. It took me a minute or so because then I started hearing ding ding and like all these private (laughs) messages, and I'm like, "What the? What's going on?" I was like, "Oh my god!" And I just felt sick. And And there was there was no getting out of it. Like what I had said, there was no. (laughs) Was there any? Was there any profanity in there, Lisa? Were you letting like letting loose? Uh, probably a couple of words from memory. Words, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a bit heated, the topic, what it was, and mm. I still don't talk to that family member <laughs> now. Okay, there that it was is. four years ago. <laughs> That's rough, wow. Lisa, and we appreciate you sharing. Thank you very much. Lenny in Melbourne, wrap it up for us. You accidentally pressed the wrong button. Hey, guys, yeah. So I had someone press the wrong button on me. Mm. So I got off Sydney Airport. We had a flight. And my sister was waiting for me outside and I went into a disabled toilet by accident. And as I was sitting on the toilet, a little, I think she was three or four years old, she pressed the door open while I was sitting on the toilet. And I started panicking, went in the corner, people were watching. And this was going on for about a minute because we didn't know how to close the door again. Very embarrassing. Did you at least pull your pants up? Yeah, what? Well, I was trying to pull them up, but I couldn't because... I was, tr- I was in the corner and people could see what I was doing. So it looked like you were going in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Please, happened. someone call airport security because Lenny is in there <laughs> dropping bombs. Different kind of bombs. Liam and Belle, did you do your homework? Did you watch yeah. Fallout? Mm-hmm. I did. Amazon Prime, it's a new show based on the video game. Uh, I love the video game and I'm watching the show at the moment. I was curious for you both to watch it to give me your thoughts because I didn't know how someone who hasn't played the games would find the TV show. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, it's going to be a long watch for me, though. I lost my wife in the first 10 minutes. I so. thought she would like it. Nah, bunker. And I'm like, I feel like they... No, but they get out of the bunker real soon. Yeah, stuck. yeah. Oh, man. as yeah. in she liked the setup. setup. Yeah, so basically um, from someone who doesn't know too much about the whole franchise, like these nukes have gone off. Yep. And all the rich people were able to get into bunkers and they're in there for hundreds of years until the world is safe to go out again. Yep. And then they. they yep. So it's like a cool concept. I mean, yep. those end of the world things are always exciting, especially because yep. it's probably only four years away. Yep. But see, so she, she would have missed out on the romance. <laughs> there was a romance in there. Oh, I would <sighs> not call it romance. Oh, that was a bit of a romance. Oh, the, with her cousin. Yes, that was romance. <laughs> yeah, there, yes. there is cousin. No, no, not there the cousin. There is a bit of cousin stuff. In yeah, hot cousin, yeah. and then hot cousin's jealous because she's getting married to somebody else. Yep. And then she says, oh, well, it's always fun to be with your cousin for a bit, Yeah. but we have to move on. But you realise that's huh? the humour of the show. Like, that's like, yeah, it's a bit Yeah, 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 yeah bit no, I get it. Yeah. And I like it. Everything was a bit retro. I yep. like that. Anything vintage and the fact that they don't have iPhones or anything because it, the nukes went off in the 60s. Mm. So then all the so technology that they have is old technology. Was it set in the 60s? Or was it set in like a weird future time? Because it looked like some no it looked, the technology it's... with the TV everything yeah I know it's, but then no. look at the architecture it's very modern and it's like that's it's, literally sixties architecture it's weird Fallout world where some it's it, it it's it looks and is very sixties you're right Bell but I think it's set in the future because they have like robots and stuff and so like, there's, you like robots the, that can you talk see the things. the buildings and like yeah. there was like so you know, big crazy there buildings. was just. There was just normal buildings that were around no, in the sixties. What are you, the sixties to you guys? You like, both, you both kind of three hundred right. years ago. They, I played the games. You, it's it looks like sixties, but it's futuristic. But, but all the technology in the bunker is technology that's like if we hit a path and they never got to Apple and yep. everything, yep. but it went the other way. So it's like they've got 60s technology that they've tried to make modern, but they can't. Everything's very big and clunky. Yeah. You see the kitchen that she had. Anyway, yep. to anyone that hasn't seen it, this will not make any sense. Yep. Um, but my favourite bit was, oh, my gosh, she's coming out of the bunker, first time in 219 years. Mm. Quick side note, weird that she looks into the sun and doesn't die because she's never seen the she sun does. before. She does. No, she does. She just goes, ah, oh, and then she's fine. She's but struggling. She's like, ah, oh, she really can't see. For like see. one second. Oh, they make a and bit of a deal about she it. she sees the ocean for the first time. She sees the sun. For the, she, she's outside. Yeah. And this is what she has to say. Okie dokie. Yeah, but that's, I don't know. That's, that's the whole thing. It's like, it's like adventure. On we go. I hate it. You hate it? Really? Oh, really? Oh, really? I, I stopped when she said okie dokie. Like she got out of the bunker, first person to come out in 219 years, huge. I think you're comes missing out the humor and she goes, "Okie dokie." No, it's, okay, it's a bit like a silly, like it's, it's a bit it's, of fun. It's, it's like action fun. It's not supposed yeah. to be serious. I get you. You no. like it? Like, it's either comedy it, yeah, or yeah. it's action. Yeah. You don't 
Well, that's episode no. one. It gets better and better. So if, you, if, if, if it sounds like you're into it, I recommend watching it. I think it's really good. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.